Hey guys, so I have been trying to find something on the internet showing me how to record my MIDI from the Roland Phantom into Logic. And I found things on how to record audio, and I found things about how to play MIDI from the Phantom into Logic, but I couldn't find anything on how to record MIDI of an already a song that you've arranged in Phantom to play it and have it record all the parts into Logic. So that's what I'm going to show for you here. I don't have all the equipment to make this fancy. I'm just going to make it quick and dirty. So I'm going to bring up Logic and this is Logic Pro 10. I'm on version 10.7.0 just uh, for your reference. And I'm going to create a new project here and I'm going to select uh, external MIDI. I've got, you have I have the drivers all installed. Um. Computer. So I'm going to go over here on Phantom 678 and start with one. And the song I'm going to do is I've arranged New Order song True Faith in, um, on the Phantom. And I'm just going to do this with my phone here so you can see it. And you can see my patterns that I'm using tracks two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to track 14. Um, I was reserving track one for an external um, synthesizer I was going to play. So again, I've got two through 14. So on my computer, I'm going to select 14 tracks down here. 14, say so create, and then you'll see I've got 14 tracks. Now I need to go, first of all, you know, I'm going to record on all of them, make sure they're all recorded, and then I also want to set all of them to the right MIDI settings. So one is already MIDI out channel. I need to be the MIDI in channel to match it. So one, go to two, set it to two, here's three, and again, notice that it's three and three. It has to be both. Here's four, four. Five. This is the tedious part. Okay, great. Now the next thing I need to do is make sure their tempos match. So back on the Phantom here, I want to hit the tempo, and I see that it's set for 118.11 on Logic. I want to make sure it's 118. It doesn't do, as far as I know, decimals. So, but this will be close enough. Okay, so I got that in there. The next thing took me a while to figure out. You have to go into menu, go to zone edit, and over here, these internal guys, if any of them are set to a red like that or something, then that track won't record. So make sure you go through all these. Ah, see, I've got two. I need to turn those off. Make sure because let me check again. There, make sure they're all clear. Those tracks won't record. Okay, so I'm going to go back to pattern and okay. So when I see Logic recording, I should see um, MIDI data coming in on tracks. 1 through 14. Okay, and I've got this made into a song, so I should just be able to hit play and go. So here we go. I've got Logic set up. Everything's going to record, and I'm going to turn the metronome on because I don't have it to where it's synced. I could probably set up Logic as the master and Phantom as the slave. I haven't done that. I'm just going to um, record and get it as close as I can and I can always drag it over you know however much it's off in just a little while so let's see if this works hit go and you can see that there's MIDI coming in on all the channels it should be coming in on and there they go. Should be okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. 
close this here. Okay. Now, right now, all of these channels are playing the sounds in the Phantom. So I can now um, change these so that they're playing sounds that are internal to my computer. I can use my plugins and my soft synth and sync, things like that. But if I did want my computer to play the Phantom, I could do this. All right. I hope this is helpful and that this saves you guys some of the hassle I've had of trying to find how to do this. Thanks a lot. Bye.